This demonstration will show you how to suspend and unsuspend a return. Normally, a crosslink technician will ask you to suspend a return when we are troubleshooting a problem, and it would save time to see and work on the same return our customers are working on. From inside the return, hold down the control button labeled CTRL on either the lower left or lower right side of your keyboard, and press the letter Z. This will bring up the manual status selection screen. The default for this screen is suspend from further processing, so verify the S is highlighted, and either press enter or click OK. This will put the return into a suspended status. At this point, you can transmit this return to Central Site, and we will not pass it on to the IRS. After you have made the necessary changes to the return, you will have to remove the suspended status in your software and retransmit to Central Site before being forwarded to the IRS. To remove returns from suspended status, go to the Information and Status screen. In the field marked Override, you will see the date the return was suspended and an S. Highlight the S and press the space bar to remove the S. Click on Save and the return is no longer suspended. The second method of suspending a return is from the Transmit to Central Site screen. If you place a check mark in the box Suspend for Diagnostics, this will also suspend the return. Then, clicking on Transmit will send it to Central Site. To unsuspend a return that's been suspended this way, do the same as before. Go to the Information and Status screen. In the field marked Override, you will see an S. Highlight the S and press the space bar to remove the S. Click on Save and the return is no longer suspended. If the return is ready for the IRS, transmit it in the regular way.